having a hard time focusing on. Mm -hmm. Which dream would you like to select? Go to the Titanic. All right. So I'd like to have you go to that place mm -hmm. where you visit before you go to the Titanic and describe where this place is. It's just a room. Mm -hmm. So describe this room for me. I'd like for you to fill in all of the details. Staircases. Mm -hmm. How many staircases do you see? Two. Mm -hmm. What are the staircases made out of? Wood. Mm -hmm. So tell me what you do with these staircases. You go up them, mm -hmm. down them. So take me with you and tell me everything that happens along the way. I'm gonna walk up to the top of the staircase. Mm hmm. I'm gonna look down below. And what's down below? It's a floor. Be as detailed as possible. Mm -hmm. Allow the images to just fill in on them, their own. I see the dome in the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Tell me what the dome is made out of. It's glass. Mm -hmm. And metal. Mm -hmm. Can you see through this dome? It's like stained glass, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you see in the stained glass? Mm. Looks like flowers. Mm -hmm. What and colors are they? There's red. Mm -hmm. Green, mm. clear, feel yellow. Mm -hmm. The carpet is red. Do you mm. notice any pattern on the f on the carpet? Mm -hmm. See, it's red. I'm sure there's a pattern. Mm -hmm. Very good. See the handrails. Mm -hmm. The dark wood. It's kind of wood paneling on the walls. Darker wood. There's a picture. So I'd like for you now to look down at your feet and see if you have a body in this place now. Feels like it. Mm -hmm. So describe what you see when you look down at your feet. I saw some black boots mm -hmm. or shoes. What else are you wearing? Just felt pants. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like a slacks. Mm -hmm. It's a jacket. I feel like a dark, mm -hmm. dark blue, maybe. Yes. Look at your hands and see if you're holding anything. No. No. The way that you're dressed, is this something that is a formal dress, or are you relaxed? I'm feeling formal. Mm -hmm. I almost feel a tuxedo. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of look in the back and see what it is. Yeah, a period type suit. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to focus on your face and tell me what you look like. White man. Mm -hmm. Top hat. Curly brown hair. 
Or maybe wavy. Mm hmm Is your hair long or short? Short. Mm hmm So now I'd like for you to continue. Let's see where you're going to next. Take me through this scene. I'm just kind of looking down. Mm-hmm. Looking at all the people. What do the people look like? Wearing, uh, women are wearing long dresses. Mm-hmm. Men also elegant wear. Probably early 1900s. Mm-hmm. Top hats. What do you imagine this occasion is? It feels formal. Mm-hmm. Like a grand ball. Yes, very good. So let's move on with the scene. Close this scene and let's go to the next important scene that's happening. Mm. Look mm. around you. It feels like a um, smoking room. Mm -hmm. Dark panels, walls, light fixture, chairs, fireplace. Mm -hmm. And where are you there? Portrait. Just walking through. Okay. Do you hear anything in this place? No. So let's see where it is that you're going. Continue walking and tell me where you go. So windows, looking out at the water. Mm-hmm. Is it daytime or nighttime? Evening. Mm-hmm. What do you see out there? It's just water and the sunset. Mm-hmm. Doesn't feel like there's anybody here. What is this room that you're in? I think it's a lounge. Mm -hmm. Nobody's there. Doesn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Felt like I had a drink in my hand. Mm -hmm. What do you feel that you're doing in this place? I don't know. I'm just there. Mm -hmm. So let's find what happens next. Allow yourself to go to the next important scene. Where are you now? It's kind of weird. It went from a bedroom to outside. Mm -hmm. Um. I guess it would be like walking on the outside of a deck. Mm-hmm. So you're walking outside? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Past a person, a couple. Mm-hmm. Man and wife. Do you feel that you're alone in this place? I do. Mm-hmm. How does it feel to be alone? Doesn't feel bad. Mm hmm. Just feels comfortable. I'm just here. Okay. What do, I, do you imagine your role is in this place? This is my boat. Mm hmm. Mm. Feels like my project. 
How do you feel about this project? I love it. I feel accomplished. Mm -hmm. How long did you work on this boat? Feels like a long time. Mm -hmm. So what emotions do you feel when you walk these decks? This happiness. Mm -hmm. Have you been on this boat before? Mm, it feels like the first time it's moving. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Trying to feel. Just feel like I'm just there. There's mm -hmm. no excitement. Just content. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's go to another part of that same trip and see if anything else important happens. Eyes keep blinking. Mm -hmm. oh. There is ice. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the ice? It just went by. What thoughts do you mm -hmm. go through your mind as you see this ice? It's just ice. Mm hmm. Is pretty. Mm -hmm. It's the water. I see, I see ice in the water. Mm -hmm. Now it feels light. It doesn't feel dark anymore. Like the daytime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Felt like I was on the front. The boat outside. Tell me more. I just saw my breath. It must be cold. Mm hmm. And I'm wearing a long jacket. It's again dark, dark color, dark blue. Mm hmm. Are you holding anything? No. What do you see out in the horizon now? I see the water and I still see... It feels like I'm on a boat going and it's smooth. Mm -hmm. It's not rough. Very good. Is there anything else important from that sea? No, it's kind of boring. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's close that scene and let's go to another important scene of that ride. What happens next? Kind of not anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm. Where are you now? I just saw a giant eye looking at me. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what that eye is looking at you. Connect with that eye. Let's find out what it is. Oh, it keeps coming from above. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that it's male or female eye? Well, male. Mm-hmm. Almost like a lizard eye. Mm-hmm. 
Let's find out what that I is. Connect with it and see what it is. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. That's gone again. Mm-hmm. So tell me where you are now. I don't know. All right, so let's close that scene and let's go drifting and floating to another time, another place. Let's find the place where you were on an airplane. Another dream. I'm having a hard time finding it. Mm -hmm. All right. So then let's go to a place where you were building a teleporter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Feels like I'm on a ship. Mm -hmm. Feels like I'm in space. Mm -hmm. Um, silverish metal. Yes. Around me. And she's in a room. Parts. I want you to look at yourself in that place. What do you look like there? Um, do you have a body? Feels like I have a body. Mm -hmm. What does this body look like? I don't know. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to imagine a mirror in front of you there. And look inside the mirror. What do you look like? Do you look like yourself or someone else? I feel like I look like myself. Mm -hmm. Very good. Who else is there with you? Feels like my dad. Mm -hmm. That looks like him. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what you're doing on that ship. I'm working on this device. Mm -hmm. It's a silver table, metal table in front of me. Yes. And parts all over. What kind of parts do you see? Like metal plates, gears. It's kind of a mess. Mm-hmm. Is anybody else with you besides you and your dad? Not in that room. Mm-hmm. Feels like there's others there, though. Let's find out a little bit about how you got to this place. I want you to go back in time very slowly to see how you got there. Feels like I got picked up. Mm hmm. So keep going backwards and let's find out how it happened. Be there now to the moment where before you were picked up. Oh. To see shadows mm -hmm. on my back. Mm hmm Like almost feels like I was in bed. Mm hmm See the shadows around me. Are these shadows physical beings? I think so. Mm hmm so I'd like for you to use your inner eye and this 
figure out what these shadows really look like. I saw them, but now they're gone again. Mm -hmm. You can bring them back. What do they look like? Okay. Mm -hmm. Can't get my eyes. Sorry, I can't get my eyes to close. Mm -hmm. You can look at it with your eyes open. Allow your eyes to remain open and you'll be able to see perfectly. What do you see now? So see the round heads? Mm-hmm. Keeps fading in and out. Mm -hmm. It's okay. What happens next? Let's see if I can go back in. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. It's like a line of light against the darkness. Okay. Let's find out what it is. Going vertical. Connect with that light. This is very... It's very light. Mm -hmm. It's not real bright. Where is this light? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So just follow it. Follow the light. It's going to a black hole. Mm -hmm. To allow yourself to follow it. it. Feels like there's a. Almost like a landing strip mm -hmm. inside of it. Mm hmm. Like you're on a roller coaster. The tracks underneath you. Mm hmm. How big is this hole? Mm -hmm. It's like um, a little bit bigger than me. Mm -hmm. And how are you going through this hole? I don't know. It's like I'm sitting in something. Mm -hmm. You can slow it down and just pay attention to see what's under you. What is this thing? Feels like it's just a seat. Mm-hmm. Like there's a bubble around me. Mm-hmm. But it's clear. I see through it. And where is this taking you? I don't know. Let's keep following and see. Describe. Feels like I'm in space. Mm -hmm. Okay. I keep seeing um, like black with the light, almost like um, hyperdrive on Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you are in some sort of protective vehicle? Yeah. Mm hmm. Look down and see if there's any controls. There's something there, I can't see it. Mm -hmm. So if you can't see it, just know it. If you're in this thing, mm -hmm. you've been there before. There's a control panel in front of me. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. And how do you control this vehicle? What do you use to control it? Not my hands. Mm -hmm. Oh, there is buttons. See yourself controlling this vehicle. What do you use? Mm, feels like my head. Mm-hmm. Actually, it feels more like my heart. So do you connect with your heart to this vehicle? It feels like it. Mm-hmm. 
And look at your hand and tell me what your hand looks like. It was gray for a moment. Mm -hmm. Long, long fingers. Mm -hmm. How many mm -hmm. fingers do you have? Four. Mm -hmm. Long, skinny. What color are your fingers? They look gray. Mm -hmm. What does your rest of your body look like? I'm seeing a silver suit. Mm -hmm. Long face. What shape is the face in? Oval. Mm -hmm. Is it a big face or a small mm -hmm. face? This is long and narrow. Mm -hmm. I don't feel any hair. Do you feel a particular gender? No. Keep feeling purple. Mm -hmm. What's purple? I don't know, something on my face. Mm -hmm. So just focus on it as if you had a mirror in front of you. You'll be able to mm -hmm. see it. What do you look like? Like a stripe down my face. Mm -hmm. Black eyes. Pointy. Have a pointier chin. Mm -hmm. Take it back. I feel female. Mm -hmm. I got eyelashes. Mm -hmm. Long eyelashes. Stripe doesn't go down my face, it goes down my head. Down your like head. From the, the kind of like hair, mm -hmm. but it would just be like a stripe. What does your nose and mouth look like? Mm, pointy nose, skinny. I feel like it's a small mouth. And look mm. at your feet. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Felt really long for a second. Mm -hmm. Long feet or long legs? Long feet. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine your feet to look like? Mm -hmm. Kind of <laughs> almost like amphibian. Mm -hmm. It's like a frog foot. Mm -hmm. I got a silver suit. A silver suit. Does it have any type of insignia on it? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So let's find out where it is that you're going. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's see where it is that you're destined to go. It's still in space. Mm -hmm. Going, see the stars going by. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Feels like I'm going exploring. Okay. Is that what you feel that you do out in space? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So let's find out what it is that you're exploring. What's this mission all about? I'd like for you to see yourself. It feels like. Vegetation. Vegetation. Life. Mm hmm Are you exploring to see where there's vegetation? Mm. More like documenting. Mm hmm What is it that you do on this mission? Observe. Mm hmm What do you observe? I'm collecting. I'm trying to find a planet. There's no planets. Mm hmm How long have you been on this mission? 
feels like a long time. Mm-hmm. Are you by yourself or are there others with you? I think there's others. So what role do you play on this ship? I feel like I collect. You collect. Is there anybody else that would be the one of the commander of the ship? Mm, yeah, there mm-hmm. has to be. Mm-hmm. I feel more like a scientist. Mm-hmm. Very good. Do they call you by any particular name? Mm. Something came, but it came really quickly and mm-hmm. it's gone. Okay. Lavra. Spell it out and see what it looks like sp- spelled. Maybe L A R A. Mm-hmm. Does it feel like Lara? Mm, no, that's not right. Mm-hmm. Maybe just Ra. Mm-hmm. Is that what you mean? Ara. Ara. Maybe. Mm-hmm. When I say the word Ara, does that resonate with you? A little bit. Mm-hmm. Does it feel quite right? Mm-hmm. It's missing something? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'd like for you to close that scene now, and let's go to another important scene in that same lifetime. Something that impacted you. Mm-hmm. And tell me where you are. I just saw just a giant green leaf. A giant green leaf? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm on some place. Mm-hmm. It keeps coming and going. So you allow yeah. yourself to integrate with this place? Just relax into it? Mm-hmm. Saw a big mountain. Mm-hmm. The trees. mountain I keep feeling looks like a dinosaur. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's moist there. And a human. What does a human look like? No, humid. Oh, humid. Okay. Um, kind of feel like I'm trekking through a jungle. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. What do you find? The soft flower. There's a big flower. It's as tall as me. Mm Mm-hmm. Looks like I was collecting it. Mm. For what purpose are you collecting this vegetation and flowers? I don't know. Trust your first impression. Transplanting. Mm. Taking it somewhere else. To another planet? Feels like that. Mm -hmm. What planet are you taking this to? Does it have a name? No. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What planet are you on now? Do you know? Does it have Mm. a name? Feels like it has a number. What's the number? Twelve. Number twelve. Mm-hmm. Could be twelve. Connect with the actual body of the 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 terrain there. The actual planet. Mm -hmm. Connect with the consciousness of the planet and ask it its name. is blue. Blue. Mm-hmm. Is this a blue planet? No, it's not. Mm-hmm. It's a green. But it likes to be called blue? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not, not the color blue. Mm-hmm. It's just blue. 
Does blue feel like male or female energy? It's male. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of animal life here. Just vegetation. It's vegetation. Mm -hmm. Feels like it's growing, like it's like young mm -hmm. baby planet. Do you connect with blue in order to take the vegetation? Do you request permission? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So let's see what happens next. Mm. Fast forward the scene and see what happens. I feel like I'm getting back on the ship. Mm -hmm. I think we're going somewhere else. All right. So let's see where you're going to next. Close the scene. And go to the next scene where you arrive. I felt like I'm on a water planet. Mm -hmm. The last one was all green. This one is all blue mm -hmm. water. There's no land. So what are you doing in this planet? I think we're harvesting here too. So let's find out what it is that you're harvesting from this blue planet. Going under the water. It feels like we're taking this plant life under the water. Mm-hmm. The one from the other planet? Yeah. New planet. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with these plants? Collecting... I want to say arc. Are we archiving them? Mm-hmm. Very good. So now let's close that scene and let's go to another very significant scene in that lifetime, the one that's am impacting your life. Still there, trying to leave. Mm -hmm. What's happening now? And I'm back out in space. Mm hmm Something feels like decision. Mm -hmm. I don't know what decision. Do you have to make mm -hmm. a decision? I think so. Mm -hmm. Are they asking you to make a decision? I think so. I just felt Earth. Mm -hmm. like I'm supposed to go to Earth. Who's the one that you're talking with about this? There's somebody else there. What are, more than one. What do they look like? That one kind of looked amphibian. Mm -hmm. um, but we're all in clothes. Humanoid. Mm -hmm. Is it all the same race? Or are there many different races? Mix. Mix. All different. Mm -hmm. So working together. So let's find out why you're going to Earth. Need to help her. For what reason? Uh, she hurts. Mm hmm. Feels like a heart. Her heart hurts. Has she put a call out to you? She put a call out to all of us. Mm -hmm. In this place where you're meeting, where what is this place? Still on a ship. Mm -hmm. Is it a large ship or a small one? It feels not huge, but big. It feels like there's windows all around. Mm -hmm. so and I'm happy here. Is this your home? I don't think I was born on the ship. 
This is my job. Mm -hmm. So let's yeah. find out what happens. What decision is made? I think I go to Earth. Let's find out how it is that you are transported to Earth. I feel like they flew me there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what body do you use when you go to Earth? Not this body. Mm -hmm. What body do you use? I think I get a new body. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the process though. Mm -hmm. What does a new body look like? Mm. Human. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? Female. Mm -hmm. What do you look like there? I feel like it's the body I'm in now. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel when you come into this body? Very old. Mm -hmm. What age? Mm. I want to say thousands of years old. Mm -hmm. I think I have to be born. Mm -hmm. I want you to see yourself when you step into that new body of Fawn. How old is she when you step into that body? Mm. People wanted to say, like, young. Mm -hmm. What age? I remember, like, three. Mm hmm. So let's find out what mm -hmm. happens to the soul that was in Fawn's body at age three. It's there. It's there. So are you I part of Fawn also? I think so. Mm -hmm. Have you attached yourself to her? I think I am her. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that you need to do as Fawn. What is your purpose in life? Gotta be here. Mm -hmm. This feels like I just gotta be here. Mm -hmm. So what does Fawn have to do with her life? Something about the plants. Mm -hmm. What does she need to do with the plants? I gotta help them grow. Mm -hmm. And how would she, how does she do that? Just being there. So what kind of energy does Fawn have? White. White energy? What does she do with that energy? Broadcast. Broadcast. So when she broadcasts this energy, what happens? How does it affect people? It causes theirs to expand. Mm-hmm. Each one gets bigger, I can see it. Mm -hmm. And by making other people's energy bigger, how is she helping the planet? To help healing. Mm -hmm. Gaia needs it. So what does Fawn do to help Gaia heal? Everywhere I step. Mm -hmm. Helps heal the energy. The bad energy goes away. Mm -hmm. Some people hurt her. They hurt Gaia. There's bad energy and then there's good energy. And they're all neutral. Mm -hmm. There's gray energy. We need the gray. Where does the gray energy come from? It's a combination of the light and the dark. Mm -hmm. And why do we need that energy, that combination? It's a neutral. It's a neutral. So it's, it's a balance. It's a balance. And does Fawn put out that neutral? No. No. 
She neutralizes it? I help neutralize. Okay. She wants to know if she's on the right path. Yep. Mm-hmm. What can she do to, to help increase that path or make it more clear? More connection, more travel. More travel? Is that why you're having her get out of her house more now? Yes. Mm-hmm. What is the purpose of her getting out there with other people now? Accelerates their energy. Okay. So does it really matter what it is that she's doing? No. No. So she could be doing either uh, QHHT or she could be selling makeup. She could be doing anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She has to touch people. She has to touch them. Where does she have to touch them? It doesn't matter. As long as she's in contact. In contact. Now, Fawn also does videos on YouTube. Do the videos put out any energy? Yes. Okay. So those who are watching her videos are receiving her energy? Yes. So it doesn't really matter what she's talking about? No. Nope. She could be talking about ping pong she balls. She could talk about anything she wanted. Mm -hmm. As long as the people are receiving? Yes. Okay. It Good. awakens others. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, she said that once... Uh, or she's been seeing shadows all her life, and mm -hmm. now she sees the light. What is this light that she sees? It seems like others. There's others mm -hmm. around her? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not physical. Are these light beings? Mm, no. What are they? Light energy. Light energy? But not beings. Just light. Light. This, is this light something that she uses? Yes. Okay, so these are tools that she uses? Mm hmm So what is she supposed to be doing when she sees these lights? Nothing. Nothing. They're just there to help her. Okay, good. Do they have consciousness? Yes, okay. everything has consciousness. <laughs> okay. She also tells me that sometimes the lights flash around her. Yes. Why does that happen? Accelerated energy. Mm -hmm. Is there any particular time when that happens? No. All the time? All the time. So what can she do to protect herself where she doesn't blow out computers and things like that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that I know of yet. Okay. All right. So it's she just, just going to happen. It's just going to happen. She's mm -hmm. just going to have to yeah, carry yeah, around. Deal other... with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Now she told me that when she touched her head to her son's, she saw a white alien being there. What was watch that? her. They watch. They watch her. Is this her family? Mm, more of a... Not family. They're more of a... Uh, let's say commune. Work together. They work together? So they're co-workers? Co-workers. <laughs> Making sure she's behaving herself. Okay. Is she misbehaving sometimes? No. All right. So when we first started out this session, she saw an eye looking at her. Mm -hmm. Is that one of them? Yes, they're oh, watching. They're watching. And what are they saying about this session today? It's going to help. It's going to help her? When I sleep, mm -hmm. I remember more. Wonderful. And what is the reason for her to need to remember more at this time? Are things mm -hmm. changing? Things are accelerating. Mm -hmm. She needs to remember to help people. She doesn't like being around people. Mm -hmm. She likes to isolate, but that's not helping everybody else. Mm -hmm. So what's a good way for Fawn to get out there? It doesn't matter. She just needs to get out. She just needs to get out. So, for example, she needs to walk through a mall and, yeah. and just... Just be around people. Just be around people. Now, she told me once, though, that she was at a at a market and it drained her energy. Mm -hmm. What was happening there? Uh, some people just suck energy. Mm -hmm. How can she protect herself? The necklace. Okay. Is that something that only she can use or anybody can use anybody. to protect? Mm -hmm. What are the qualities of that necklace that help? Fawn. Magnetic energy. Mm-hmm. So does that ground her? It helps ground. Okay. Good. It puts a bubble. There's a bubble. 
It does puts a bubble of mm-hmm. energy bubble. Uh huh. Good. Good. Now she said also that she had a vision of herself working in a greenhouse mm-hmm. with a huge hydroponic garden all mm-hmm. around her. Was that real? I think it was on the ship. It was on the ship. So is this the life that she had before this one? I think so, yes. Okay. So she was pr- pretty much a gardener and engineer on mm-hmm. that ship? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is that why she do she does what she does now? Yes. She came with those members? Had to have the engineering to help her in this life. Mm-hmm. Is that why she chose that family? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, is she supposed to be selling this makeup? She can. She can. It's not here or there. It doesn't no. matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Very good. She always felt that she can control the elements. Mm-hmm. Is that something that's possible to learn? Yes. Mm-hmm. How can she learn that? She needs to feel it. Mm. You feel the energy and you can move it. So what's the best place for her to start working? <laughs> her backyard. Her backyard. Is her backyard energized in any way or in any type of a place special? It's very energized. Mm-hmm. Is that why? There's energy everywhere. That's why she's back. Mm-hmm. That's why people come there. And they feel calm mm-hmm. and relaxed. It's protected. What protects that area? Her energy. Mm-hmm. She put a protection around it. Very good. Now, she dreamt that she was in her bedroom speaking to a man. Mm-hmm. She can't remember. Mm-mm. And during that conversation, she felt something in her underwear. Mm-hmm. She pulled out a coin. Mm-hmm. And she said, I have a coin in my pants. Mm-hmm. Actually, it was in my butt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when she woke up, she had the coin. Mm-hmm. Can you tell her what that was all about? There was a man there. There was. He and his dark hair. Mm-hmm. Feel love towards him? Mm-hmm. Can't remember him. So it's like a brain wipe. So let's find out who that was. He was pale. Mm-hmm. They used to come through the window. Mm-hmm. Mm. I know him. I have no memory. Why was that memory taken from Fawn? It wasn't needed. Mm-hmm. It would distract from this lifetime. Is this something that he came her to, to remind her of? I want to say time traveler. Mm-hmm. They know each other. They're friends. Love there. Feel like family. Mm hmm. They help guide her. Many visits. They tell her things. To help in this lifetime. But the memory of him isn't needed. Where are these time travelers coming from? Another dimension. Mm. Why have they picked Fawn to do this with? They work together. Okay. Did they work together on the ship? Yes. Okay. So are they also extraterrestrial? Yes. Mm hmm. Does she have some sort of contract with them? Any mission that she's supposed mm-hmm. to be doing? No particular mission but to be here. Just to be here to help Gaia. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. She understands the plants. Okay, so she's supposed to be working with the plants. Mm-hmm. She has also had recurring dreams growing up where she played with a red-headed girl. Mm-hmm. The last time she saw her, she was they were the same age. Mm-hmm. Who is this red-headed girl? She was another girl on the ship. Ah. So why is it that she's appeared to her? Is she... Does she have a body? Not on the earth. Mm-hmm. Where is her body? On the ship. 
on the ship. So does she project herself as a red-headed girl, or is that what her real... That's what she looks like. Okay. Does she have a human face? She's human. Okay. And is she a human from this earth no. or from somewhere else? Where Where is this one from? She grew up on the ship. Okay. Is this red-headed girl part of a program? Not a program, a mission. A mission. Okay. Mm, when I say that Bon was taken, mm-hmm. and they helped each other. Okay. I don't know how. Why is it that Fawn is taken? Just for memory. Help help her memory. Mm-hmm. But she forgets when she comes back. Yes. Why do they give her the memory and then wipe it, it out? It's there in the energy. Okay. All right. Does Fawn have any implants? No. Okay. Why does she have memories of three of three airplane crashes? There was a teacher about fear, mm-hmm. understanding of fear. So were these actual crashes? No. No. This was just a lesson that she just received? Just lessons. Okay, good. She has problems understanding other people's emotions. Mm-hmm. Why do they hate, take religious views? Mm-hmm. They were to help her. Understand death and fear. She had to experience the fear to understand why people feared death. Mm -hmm. So these are kind of like um, mock ups of. Yes. Okay. She goes through the whole mock up and then she mm -hmm. feels it. Yes. Okay. Good. Is that better, I guess, than losing your body? Yes. Mm hmm. Good. And keeps her grounded. What are the other things that she has experienced? For example, she experienced that life of that man on the Titanic. Mm -hmm. Why did you show her that today? She needed to understand just the calm, mm -hmm. the beauty. People are beautiful. What they create is beautiful. When you create it, and like it can get destroyed. Mm -hmm. It's just a memory. What happened to that individual? Gone. Did he go down with the ship? Yes. Mm -hmm. So is that life affecting her in any way now? No, it's not important. No, it's not important. Are there any other dreams or visions? Or things that are important for Fawn to know about today. No, she already knows. She already knows. So I'd like to have for the record, what is the reason that you brought Fawn here today for such a, a long way away? It's an awakening. It's awakening. She's going to awaken more. Mm-hmm. Her body can feel it. The vibrations are going to raise. Are you working on her right now? Yes. Okay. Could you tell her what kind of energy you're using and where? It's uh, energy is going everywhere. Mm-hmm. And feel it. And the goosebumps all over the body. It's going up and down, head to toe. Mm-hmm. This is going to keep awakening. Wonderful. There'll be more experiences, more similarities. Mm hmm They're not just accidental. Okay, so things will happen. Things will happen. That will open up her third mm -hmm. eye even more? Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm working on that. Wonderful. I'll throw some in my direction, too. <laughs> you already get it. <laughs> with every being here. <laughs> with every session, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. So who is the one guiding her primarily now? Mm. Feels like a group. Mm hmm. Back up at the ship. Okay. Ship doesn't feel physical. They're not from this dimension. Mm hmm. 
So when she's taken to the ship, is she actually taken to a different dimension? Yes. Okay. You couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. Are these ships actually on the Earth? No. No. They're above. Okay. They're watching. Mm -hmm. How many ships are there? Hundreds. What is the reason why they're here watching us at this time? There's change. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about this change? Mm -hmm. Are you able to give us a little bit of a glimpse of what this change happening to Gaia is all about? It's like growing up. Hmm. It's just another... It's like going from being a child to a teenager mm -hmm. to an adult. Yes. Similar stages. She's going to an adult. It's like shedding of a skin. Mm hmm But it's energy. So the energy everything is getting more feels, powerful? Yes, and everything feels lighter. Wonderful. Wonderful. Are there any questions that I could have asked today that I didn't for Fawn? No. No. Is there anything else that you would like to tell her today? Be patient. Mm -hmm. Things are going to keep coming. Trust your instincts. Just trust people. Trust the light. Everything will be okay. Very good. Would you continue working on her while she sleeps, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, we will. Thank you very much. Are we complete today? I think so. Thank you very much. Look Hi there. Back. Hi there. Is that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> that that a little amazing. bit boring. I don't know. <laughs> That's it. That was interesting. It was, was kind of hard to focus on one thing. You did fantastic. Kind of going everywhere. So. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Because that's... I'm feeling nauseous now. I don't know. Well, so. imagine all that all that uh, that they put through. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give me the selenite and let me okay. give you these, which are shungite. These are okay. grounding stones. So okay. let's ground you for a bit so you don't feel that nauseousness. So what do you think about this experience? It was different. It wasn't, wow. wasn't what I was expecting. I well, was expecting to, like, to be seeing pictures of everything. That's not how it was. Not for you, because mm -hmm. you're very special, my dear. A little different. <laughs> yeah. And this is something that you have to understand, that every session is absolutely unique. Mm -hmm. And there is no mold to this. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody is perfect. And you, yeah. you're you being filled with energy now, and that's what you came here to do. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> you know, you know you're one of them now. Yeah. And that they're just watching you. They just kind of find, uh, what's the word, they... Uh, they just made it so I understood that yes. what I thought I was, I am. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see that you're, you're a scientist. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what I was supposed to be, apparently. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's wonderful. So what do you think? This is something personal, don't you think? Or? Well, you could share it if you want, yeah. if you don't think it's too... Uh, too out there? Too out there, too boring for people to watch. They're welcome to see it. <laughs> right. camera. All right. So, wow, that was an interesting session. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> so tell everybody what you expected. I expected to be seeing my past lives and all these pictures, <laughs> and I didn't see it. Uh-huh. I felt it, and things just started talking through me. Yeah. And so that's what I was going with. So. Yeah, and... Uh, you know, it was a very simple session. Yeah. But it was they really brought you here to power you up. Yeah, I think it was just an energizing and I'm sweating and I'm shaking <laughs> and I feel like I've had like ten cups of coffee going through You're me. Like, so You're yeah. Buzzing? Yeah, I'm buzzing. Yeah, there's definitely a buzz going on. And there, and, so. and uh how are the how's the shungite helping you? Anything? It's helping, yeah. So the shungite it's, is to ground you. Mm -hmm, so yeah. you were flying high. I was flying high, yeah. I kept going through space. I kept seeing black and I see yeah. these lights coming by me. You know? Wow. Yeah. So anybody looking to do hypnosis, what would you explain this was like? Um <laughs> it's a really hard one. I don't even know if I can explain this. This isn't like you're, I was thinking I'd be asleep 
and <laughs> like I was like when I'm sleeping and I get these vivid dreams yeah. and that's not what this was. Yeah. This was like a, a flashes of pictures coming through, but yeah. more so feeling like something was speaking through my gut or my heart and mm-hmm. it was just kind of like coming up mm-hmm. like it wasn't yeah it wasn't uh wasn't what you expected no. and in the beginning you know it was taking a little bit yeah. i could feel like it you know and, then, and there was a time when you opened your eyes yeah tell me what happened there i couldn't keep my eyes shut like it was just wide open and yeah they wouldn't it wouldn't shut i don't know like i was still, trying to and shut you were still, and you were yeah. still seeing yeah and i was still seeing so i could see like the shadows of everything yeah. and i could i felt like i was laying on a bed and i was seeing these shadows of these beings around me. interesting like, yeah interesting i don't know what they are but <laughs> so <laughs> maybe i'll find out tonight when i go to sleep maybe yeah. because you will now you're going to be wide open and, yeah. and they've already told you you're going to be even wider yeah they're, they're they're looking to open you up because you have a special mission here. Yeah. Apparently, I'm supposed to energize everything. <laughs> so. so, if you're watching this yeah. video, you're going to be getting some energy. You're going to get me. some yeah. zapping. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> so, hopefully, you're uh, feeling awake and alive and want to go out and kiss everybody. <laughs> <laughs> or just want to go out and, and touch the trees. Yeah. And that's what I Help felt. Gaia. Help, help Gaia. Help that's Earth. what we're here to do. Help Earth. Yeah. And uh, we're right now in Portland, Oregon. Yeah. And how far did you travel? I traveled from Seattle. So we're about three and a half hours mm-hmm. uh, north of here. Yeah. So it was, it was a drive, but it was a mission. Like I, I ended up coming were... down a day earlier because all of a sudden we had a family reunion down here. Isn't so that I was supposed to be here. I know. Such Isn't a that a coincidence? Co- th- things like that happen. Yeah. If you're supposed to be at one of my sessions, you yeah. will be. If for some reason you're not, it's not the right time yeah. because your higher self is guiding you here. This is divine um, guidance and you have to just follow follow what's happening to you don't push it because when you're supposed to be here you will yeah there was just a ton of synchronicities that led yeah. me here so that's what happened that's why i'm here so. that's what happened <laughs> so if you would like a session with me just go to my website albawyman.com and uh if you're not in miami you you can see me in another city i do travel all over the world you can go to my out of town page click on the bottom there is a link for you to uh, sign up for my newsletter I will be sending out information as to what cities you can book uh, next. So, like today, I sent out um, a newsletter with the the next cities, and when they come up, just make sure you sign up very quickly, just like you did. Yeah, okay? absolutely, it's worth it. Yeah. So Same. until the next time, thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it, some yeah. energy, and we'll see each other next time. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. 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 Ah, you let her go. Thank you.